what's up everyone welcome back to exotic astrology and finally i am settled in my new room so i can again start making videos properly all right so today is a video on a short notice many people requested me to do the video on uh, the garden which is there in tirupati which i spoke about in many videos and i spoke about it sunday in that video so many people were asking me about anantacharya's story and how lord balaji had appeared and what he had done and why there are so many things which go on in the tirupati temple in tirumala hills so we will discuss about all of them today all right so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then please approach me from my web website the link is there hopefully in the description below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is planning to visit tirumala hills maybe and before i begin as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there may or maybe he comes the way he came for anantachari also so now the story goes back to the times of ramanujachari ramanujachari is one of the most important gurus in the uh, Shri Vaishnav tradition, there are four authorized sampradayas from whom we get the divine knowledge which is spreading down from God himself, Vishnu himself. So, which are the four authorized traditions? The first tradition is the Brahma Sampraday, then is the Rudra Sampraday, then is the Kumar Sampraday and then fourth one is the Shri Sampraday which actually denotes uh, Lakshmi Devi. Shri is the consort of Vishnu as we all know. So, now he, Ramanujacharya, is one of the most prominent gurus in that line. And he is actually Lakshman, as we all know that name, Ram Anuj. Anuja is the reference to brothers. So the brother of Ram is Lakshman, as we all know. So he is actually Lakshman who had uh, been there. And then what happens is, one day, and now uh, for your information, the headquarters of the Sri Sampradaya is in write it down in the comments where is the headquarters of the Sri Vaishnav Sampradaya yes pause this video and write it down if you know if you don't then I'm anyways going to tell you it is in Sri Rangam yes 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 google it Sri Rangam S H R I R A N G M Sri Rangam I visited that place once fortunately before coming to Germany it's magnanimous it's beautiful fantastic please do visit there all right if you make a visit to south india you may visit tirupati but you must visit shirangam if you visit tirupati and come from south india without visiting shirangam not very good <laughs> try to visit kanchipuram also okay so then what happened ramanujacharya was sitting with all of his disciples in the holy land of shirangam once and then ramanujacharya and yes before beginning i would say there are many versions of this story i have heard but this is what i have heard from my gurus and that is what i am going to share here so now some of you may say that oh some things that you are saying here may not be accurate some versions say some different stories that's perfectly fine the important thing is not the story important thing is the lesson okay so i will try to share whatever i've heard so then what happened is ramanujachari is sitting with all of his hundreds and thousands of disciples in shirangam and one fine day morning he makes an announcement and everybody was stunned they were horrified in fact what did he say he said anybody sitting here dares to go to tirumala and serve lord venkateshwar there for the rest of his life till you die my god <laughs> this was a very heavy statement which ramanujachari made and then Ramanujachari said, anybody dares to go there <laughs> and nobody, <laughs> everybody was looking to each other and everybody was like, oh, maybe <laughs> everybody was praying, somebody raise the hand, man, somebody please go, I can't go, man. Why you can't? Why nobody wanted to go? Because of many reasons. The first reason is nobody wanted to leave the association of the great Ramanujacharya there. Who would leave Ramanujacharya's association and go to any other place, even if it is Tirupati? Nobody would, have, would want to do that. 
and the other reason was tirumala hills those days it was a very dangerous place when ramanujacharya was there it was full of forest and there were a lot of poisonous snakes scorpions and so many dangerous animals used to be there so nobody would confidently voluntarily go there unless maybe instructed by their guru so nobody dared to raise their hand and say yes guru maharaj i will go there and ramanujacharya did not say oh only for chatur mas or only for adhik mas as it's going to end now adhik mas purushottam mas all only for the damodar month you have to go and serve and later you can come back na no ramanujacharya said for the rest of your life you have to stay there and it's like something very big it's like asking your whole life because then you will never be able to see ramanujacharya again i mean you might see him sometimes but it's like saying you go away from your guru maharaj for the rest of your life nobody wanted that but there was one <laughs> there was one great disciple courageous disciple and his name was anantacharya anantacharya was his name and then anantacharya raised his hands he said he said yes i will do it for you if that is what makes you happy i shall do it and then ramanujacharya was very pleased he gave him all the blessings and he said i wish you good luck <laughs> so you have to stay there for the rest of your life and you are not supposed to go anywhere sometimes you may go here there from this place to that place i mean you might come to shirangam sometimes but you have to stay there and ananta chari was married and he also had his wife who also went along with him just like sita devi had gone to the forest with lord ram so then what happened is ananta chari took the blessings of ramanuja chari and all his senior god brothers and then he left for tirumala hills from shirangam and he didn't know anything what was there they did not have google maps to check oh it's like this it's like that you go right left no it was completely unknown there were these territories were very dangerous and then anantacharya finally reaches the top of tirumala hills and then he goes there and he sees yes this is the place that i have to maintain now i have to be the Uh, servant of this place now and venkateshwar and somebody would ask what is the meaning of the word venkateshwar well uh, the word ven means sin and venkat means one who nullifies the sins and ishwara is the one which is referring to as we all know god so venkateshwar is the he is the one the supreme vishnu who cuts who nullifies all the sinful reactions of our past and then what happens anantacharya wants to make a beautiful garden there and then he's thinking how to make it because it's a very difficult place it's like it's very difficult to make there there's no helper there there's no uh, there's no car system or there's no there's nothing it's literally it's nothing it's total forest how do we make a garden there it's it's impossible almost only he could do it <laughs> and then what happens is he starts plowing the field and he starts making the garden and it was a very 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 difficult job he had to do all the dt services as a pujari and then he had to cook cook bhoga for god and then he had to distribute prasad and so many other things he had to do and in midst of all this there were rains and there were mosquitoes the poisonous insects it was totally forest there there was no place to stay hardly anything to eat situation was very bad those days but he thought i will make a garden and then he and his most beloved wife started making the garden but the predicament was his wife was pregnant and she was almost uh, near in to delivering a baby so she was very tired but she was very committed to her husband she did not say oh can't you see i am pregnant now you are making me do all this no she never said like she voluntarily said oh i will also help you and then anantacharya said okay if you desire to help me so good so be it <laughs> come let's do it together and then they both started making the garden plowing the uh, field and then transferring 
the land from one place to the other and arranging and bringing the seeds and then what happens is anantacharya tells to his wife that it is our duty to build this garden we should not take help from anybody so take care that you do not take help from anybody i am giving you a strict instruction here no third person should come whoever he is and then his wife said okay 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 no problem and then what happens is anandacharya tells to his wife okay so now i will bring this bucket full of mud and all this substances and i will give it to you and then from here you go and throw it to that place there we will plow the seeds and then his wife says okay bring the mud bring the pot i will transfer and then what happens is suddenly <laughs> actually lord venkateshwar was watching all this yes and he was extremely unhappy to see this austerity which his great devotee anantacharya was doing just just because ramanujacharya wanted so venkateshwar was not happy to see this so he was feeling very he was feeling lot of pain inside that oh my disciples are under uh, my devotees are undergoing such hardship and that to his wife was pregnant can you imagine a pregnant lady doing all these things you can't imagine <laughs> maybe those who are watching this and they have been pregnant uh, in the past they may understand what i am saying yes but they were doing it very committedly and then lord venkateshwar thought enough is enough <laughs> i have to go personally to help my devotees because i said in the gita that i will uh, preserve what they uh, have and provide what they lack yoga kshem vamyam that shloka is there from the gita and then what happens is venkateshwar takes the form of a small boy not baby boy but small boy and then he goes to anantacharya and says oh my dear sir you look to be very tired i will also help you in making this garden please allow me to share a part of your burden and then anantacharya said no this is my service this is my seva my guru has given me i will do it myself nobody else is allowed my wife uh, i have just allowed my wife to be there to help me but nobody else you cannot help me please go out of here and then venkateshwar tried to persuade <laughs> i mean that baby that boy tried to persuade him oh please listen to me you are old you are tired how will you make this alone please let me help you and then anantacharya said no nothing doing just get lost and then <laughs> that boy disappeared and then this boy thought let me go to his wife so then he went to his wife and he said oh madam <laughs> uh, can i please help you no you are pregnant you are about to deliver a baby it's so difficult for you see please let me help you let me share some part of your pain and then she said no my husband has given me strict instruction that nobody else will be allowed to participate in this it is our seva we will do it alone ourselves and then he was like madam please <laughs> come on madam you are pregnant if something happens to your baby when you are doing all this what will happen no blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> and then somehow he could persuade her somehow and then she said okay <laughs> so what he happened was anantacharya would give the pot to his wife and then his wife would go for some distance and give it to this boy and then this boy would run and throw it and then again give the pot back to his wife uh, to the wife of anantacharya and then anantacharya's wife would give it to anantacharya back and then again this pro- process would go on. so this process went on for very long time but anantacharya developed some suspicion inside he thought oh how is my wife <laughs> coming back so fast this something this as in hindi this you know dal mein kuch kala hai dal mein kuch kala ya kale mein dal something like that you would say and then he understood this there's something fishy here it's not working the way 
and then anantacharya secretly he saw that oh this this boy who came to help me now he's going and helping my wife and the moment anantacharya saw this he became very angry and in anger he rushed <laughs> he rushed he rushed he rushed and then he was chasing this boy and then this boy was running zigzag he was not running straight <laughs> and then this boy was running very fast and anantacharya became so angry he too he had his axe with which he was plowing the field he threw that axe like this and then this ex directly went and hit the chin of this boy and he was bleeding profusely and finally this boy ran inside the venkateshwar's temple and inside the gopuram where venkateshwar is he went inside and he closed the door and then <laughs> anantacharya was like okay finally i mean that's a long story but i am cutting it short here otherwise somebody will tell you are making long videos again <laughs> and then what happens is anantachari goes to the gopuram and he opens the door and he sees the boy is missing what's going on man <laughs> this boy was some jadugar some magician or some demigod or some celestial being which who had appeared suddenly out of nowhere was he ordinary person because if he would be an ordinary person how would he disappear from the gopuram inside and he also realized that oh this boy was bleeding and then suddenly what happens he saw the deity of venkateshwar the murti and suddenly he sees that the deity is bleeding from here and then when he saw this he was shocked he got the shock of his life and then he realized my god <laughs> this boy was no body else he was none other than venkateshwar himself venkateshwar himself came to help me my god this is too much and from that day till date till today till now and for eternity there is this concoction which is applied to lord balaji's chin yes in this part or this part wherever that had that ex had hit him and th that is a mixture of many herbs and many ingredients yes uh, elaichi kesar chandan and so many other things Ca camphor is also there i don't know exactly but these are the ingredients i've heard and they they will apply it to balaji's chin here because he's injured <laughs> and he's still injured <laughs> till today they will keep applying that so this is the uh, story and this is how anantacharya had made the garden and fantastic it is whenever you go there please visit and also visit the places which are there above the tirupati temple there are so many vara chitra is there there you visit and within tirumala hills there are so many other places you can go there and of course don't miss the laddu there yes of course nobody would miss that that's the special attraction of the place but this is the story of dedication which anantacharya had i mean anantacharya and his wife both of them that they were so dedicated that god himself came down to help them can you imagine this has never ever ever happened it has happened very very in very rare cases has these kind of things being replicated again in this material realm that god comes down to help you personally <laughs> and he gets beatings also <laughs> so the lesson from the story here is that we need to be dedicated in our spiritual practices like anantacharya and only then god will come and help us because they say god helps themselves god helps those who helps themselves should i repeat god only helps those who helps themselves so if we have taken to any spiritual path chanting mantras reading the scriptures visiting holy places and going and meeting holy people there or within our city going to some spiritual center some spiritual retreat then we must do it seriously we must do it very diligently we must do it in a very committed manner just like a boy and a girl are committed towards each other in the beginning days <laughs> at least <laughs>
all right so many of you would have uh, have been requesting me for this video and recently also in another video also i had said so this is the story of anatha charya i mean this is not his entire story this is just a this is like a small instance from his life where balaji himself had uh, i mean venkateshwar himself came down as a boy and that is why that name is there balaji bal means one who is small g is one the respected one and then one day ramanujacharya also got the news and he was amazed to hear this that oh my disciple has reached such heights that god is himself coming to help him and then ramanujacharya decided enough of it now i need to go to tirupati and then he also marched he embarked on his journey to tirumala hills and that is another long story what happens he goes there he meets shaila purna and so many other great sages there <laughs> and there's another story what happened when uh, kanchi purna kanchi purna is the one after which the place kanchi puram is named so kanchi purna was another disciple of ramanujacharya he was serving uh, varadaraj varadaraj is the other form of vishnu which is there in kanchi puram that varadaraj swami temple it's known as perumal temple you can always visit there if you go to kanchi puram that's the first place you are ideally supposed to visit so kanchi purna also has a beautiful story pertaining to this should i tell it now oh, oh no it's time up it's very long already so kanchi purna's story i will say some other time okay so that is it from my side i think that story is more interesting than this <laughs> i mean every story is like this one in hindi you say na ek se bad kar ek so i will be uh, sharing so many stories which i have learned when i was in south india and this is one small token of those things okay so there you go if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to visit tirupati or who doesn't know about the tirumala hills or the story yes okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you in tirupati